It's been five years since the release of Mad Max Fury Road, and director George Miller is starting to put together all the pieces to the upcoming Furiosa prequel. And I'm going to tell you everything we know so far. I'm Makeshift, and you're watching the Apocalypse Post. Subscribe if you haven't, and let's get on with the show. Furiosa, played by Charlize Theron, was a breakout favorite character. Fury Road may have been titled as a Mad Max movie, but Furiosa did the heavy lifting while Max was more of a tag-along for most of the ride. The upcoming Furiosa film will be a prequel as George Miller had basically already written the movie as backstory for Furiosa's character in Fury Road. But we're still yet to get any solid idea of what the film will be about. There's a few hints throughout Fury Road in the accompanying comics as to Furiosa's beginnings. Number one, we know she came from the Green Place and was abducted at some point by a Morton Joe's army and was one of his breeders for a time. But either she couldn't bear children or fell prey to the three strikes rule and was cast out as a breeder and conscripted into Morton Joe's army of war boys, eventually becoming an Imperator and being temporarily placed in charge of guarding the breeders. Second, the Green Place was run by a tribe of women called the Vuvalini and so sits in stark contrast to Joe's patriarchal society. Third up, we know at some point she lost her arm, but neither the movie or comics tell us how. And that's kind of it. And so I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of these points fleshed out in the prequel, though given George's penchant for chaos, we may not get answers to all of our questions. As of now, the movie is working under the title Mad Max Furiosa, which is interesting because it very likely won't include Tom Hardy or anyone else's Max Rokitansky in the film. But a lot of the creative team from Fury Road is signed on, so we can expect it to live up to Fury Road's high production bar. Miller says that he would have liked to continue to use Charlize Theron in the role of Furiosa. He didn't feel like he could de-age her at a high enough quality, citing the uncanny valley from the de-aging in The Irishman, which is about the best special effects we can do so far. And by the way, if you're not familiar with the term uncanny valley, it's a term first coined by a professor at the Tokyo Institute of Technology named Masahiro Mori. It describes how, as robots become more human-like, they become more relatable to us, but only to a certain point when they start to look human, but not quite. And instead of feeling more familiar, they actually make us a little uneasy. Subtle cues in speech and facial movement can throw off the humanness of an artificial person. Video games have struggled with this for years, and as the technology took us from cartoon-like characters in the 90s to more human-like faces, the characters can actually become more uncomfortable to look at. Basically, George Miller doesn't want to leave us thinking about how real Furiosa looks rather than paying attention to the story. And since the wall of recasting has already been broken down with Max, why not? I have to hand it to George for always keeping things as real as possible in his movie making. The same way that Fury Road used CGI to recreate backgrounds, maybe amp up a little fire and crash effects, but it was built on a backbone of real action and actual stunt work. Okay, back to it. So the role of Furiosa is going to Anya Taylor-Joy from Emma and Glass and the upcoming New Mutants. He's also cast Thor, aka Chris Hemsworth, and Yahya Abdul-Mateen II from The Watchmen and Aquaman. For Chris and Yaya, we're not sure what roles they're playing yet, but I'm pretty sure we can expect them to be some kind of larger-than-life supervillains, since Furiosa will of course likely be the hero of the story. I mean, it's got a name on it. Now, Fury Road racked in countless awards and nominations alongside a $375 million box office, all while reinvigorating an incredible franchise for a new generation. And along the way, Miller and Friends developed not one, but two other scripts, of which Furiosa is just one. And let's hope it does well so we can still get a chance to see the other, which is currently titled Mad Max Wasteland. With Mad Max Wasteland, I would imagine we're going to see some more prequel action. It could get into his comic book story, or maybe even be the theatrical version of the Mad Max video game, showing Mad Max face off against Immortan Joe's psychotic third son, Scabrous Scrotus. And what a name that is. You don't need to know Latin to get the full picture on that one, do you? All right, so unfortunately, that's all we really know about the Furiosa prequel for now. Miller and crew have been holding this one very close to their chests. But if Fury Road is any example of what's coming, I, for one, cannot wait. Thanks for watching, Survivors. Tell me what you hope to see in the new Furiosa prequel. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all next time. Until then, stay alive.